Well, we certainly all pulled for the recovery of Hartford police officer Jill Kiddick after she was stabbed during an eviction process in Hartford. Well, now some surrounding police departments are coming together for a fundraiser on Saturday to support her, but also to support, uh, support all first responders. We're talking about police, fire, and military as well our heroes in life. And joining me now to talk about that, I'm happy to have Captain Jeremy Clark and Lieutenant uh, Chris Chappell of the West Hartford Police Department to talk about Help a Hero Night coming up uh, this Saturday. By the way, uh, Jimmy Altman and Jen Bernstein are going to be the MCs for that. It's happening at uh, Gillette Ridge. Gentlemen, good to see you again. Good to see you as well. Yeah, I'm glad to have Great you to see here. You. Good. So this is something uh, you guys have been doing. Just, just tell me how the idea came out and what, what you're hoping to get out of it. We do, every month we do fundraisers and our hero of the month through our not-for-profit and we had one planned we always do a fundraiser we try to do something as regularly as we can and unfortunately obviously what happened to yeah. officer Kittick in Hartford it it couldn't have been more advantageous to have something already set up so we had a fundraiser planned and it was a natural progression to do it for her so it's it's great that we can do it of course and we've heard so many good things about officer Kittick but uh, I know it's a trite question, guys, but just tell me what goes through your minds when you hear about something like that happening. I know in journalism, we're told day one, you never say police, it was a routine traffic. There's nothing routine about what you guys do. So what happens when you see something like this that should have been a simple eviction go wrong? Yeah, I mean, obviously, every call we go on, it could it could turn in, a, in an instant. You never think it's going to, but you have to be prepared for it. And we always know that at any one time, it could be us, it could be, could have been me there, it could have been mm -hmm. Captain Clark there, it could have been any officer at any given day. So it really tugs on our heartstrings when we see, especially our neighboring city, uh, you know, something like this, this tragedy happen. Okay. So uh, how much money are you guys hoping to raise here on Saturday? I know the suggested donation is uh, $50 a person. There's dinner, there's drinks, there's music and auction. Uh, how much funds are going to be? We can take as much as people can bring, as much as they can give. It's opportunities like this. People are amazing, and you're always shocked and surprised at how generous companies and individuals. We're not limiting it just to individuals. Mm -hmm. If companies want to donate, this is an officer part of a bigger department that represents the city, that protects the city of Hartford, and we're hoping for donations across the country. Where did the Our Heroes Fund, how long has it been going on? What was the impetus to start it? So we are in our third year. Mm -hmm. um, we actually used to run the Connecticut SWAT Challenge through the police department. And when that ended, we started up a nonprofit to help run that event. And it was a natural progression just to go into, hey, we can do this great training event for officers around the country. And now we can now actually start help donating uh, to for our specialized equipment. And we've helped a lot of officers, a lot of military, a lot of firefighters, you know, battling cancer. Yeah. Uh, one of our friends who was a soldier was shot. We helped him and his family. So we've been able to really expand our, our role, and it's really, it's really been great for us. It's good to hear. You guys rally around each other, as you should, and you guys do it like nobody else does. So they need help. Like you said, seating's limited, right? You told me right. that, but you're still selling advance tickets for $50. We will have the link to the website on fox61.com to make it as easy as, a, uh, as we can for you to go get a ticket. I, I can't think of a better way to spend 50 bucks and a little more if you go bid on those great auction items. It's a great way to get something uh, real cheap. Uh, Mr. Clark, Mr. Chapel, thank you so thank much, you for, being much for having us. Thank yeah, you for glad having to us. have you guys here.